Hello and welcome to another Vero software video on using Cabinet Vision Solid. So, in the last video, we learned just how easy it is for us to create countertops in Cabinet Vision. So, what's next for us? Well, now we need to get information out to everyone, like our purchaser, our Sawyer, and anyone else who really needs it. Since we know what we have to do, the next logical question would be, how do we do that? Well, like every journey, we need to take the first step. And I actually think we did that when we created our job oh so many videos ago. Well then, let's take the next step by clicking on the Reports tab to bring us to the Reports viewport. Here we can do a lot of things, like add objects that we don't need showing or associated to any walls, create a bid proposal that we can pass out to potential customers, generate some reports that we can pass out to the rest of the company, and print out wall elevation sheets, assembly sheets, or part sheets. Since we're focusing on reports in this video, I'm just going to move into the Report Center to show off what we can do there. Let's pause here just for a second. We can see this little box that says Gathering Report Data. At this point, Cabinet Vision is taking all of the design information that we've provided and converting it into a more usable data format. So, okay, unpause to let Cabinet Vision do its thing. And now we're in the Report Center, the main place that we use to generate reports. Now, here's where it gets a little complicated. I suggest you go get a pen and some paper to take some notes, because I only really want to go through this once. Excellent. Now that you've got that squared away, we can continue. We see here our list of report groups and the reports that are contained in each. We start by clicking on a report in the list. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Not really as complicated as I made it seem. But anyways, there's still a few things we can do here. First, we can filter reports to show information on specific objects. Let's say I wanted to show only report information on our YouTube base cabinet that we made previously. We can either uncheck all the items we don't want, or what I like to do is uncheck an entire room and then check the item that I actually want to see. And once we click OK, Cabinet Vision will filter out all the objects that don't apply to our filter. I probably should have shown you this before, but you can see here we're on page number one of one pages. Let me remove the filter so you can see how many pages we had before. See, unfiltered we have 19 pages. We can use these controls here to go through the different pages on our reports. We also have the ability to export the report to different formats. We just have to click on the Export Report button to bring up the Export dialog. Here we can select what kind of export we want, as well as a general location for that export. Now when I say general, I would tell the exporter that I want to save the file to the disk, for instance, and I would tell it exactly where during the export process. But we aren't going to go through that right now. Instead, we're going to take a look at the Setup Reports button and what it does. Now, what do we have here? This is the place where we would set up our report groups. We can create new ones, uh, delete old ones, and put reports in those groups. You can see that there is a whole bunch of reports to select from, more than 250 if memory serves, which it doesn't always seem to. But anyways, how is it that Cabinet Vision has so many reports for us to choose from? It's because of the extremely powerful reporting engine that Cabinet Vision uses. Each report consists of two parts. The first one being a Crystal Reports file. This file is what takes the data that Cabinet Vision gathered from the job that you created and formats it so that it can be used by anyone. The second is what is known as a Report Import file. This file provides Cabinet Vision with important information about the report itself. This information includes the report name, description, basic visual formatting, and some formulas that will alter the data that is presented to you when the report is generated. When you put these two parts together, you get the final report. This powerful two-part system allows a single crystal report file to produce, quite literally, hundreds of final reports. I think this is where we're going to exit the Report Center and look at a few of the other features of the Reports viewport. Since I'm deep in the Report Center, I'm just going to switch to the Plan viewport and then go back to the Reports viewport. Now that we're here, let's look at the Bid Center, where we can generate some bid proposals. The Bid Center starts us off at the pricing screen. This is just a list of all the objects and their cost that exist inside of the job. To actually fill out the price for everything, Cabinet Vision uses what is called a rate table. This is a predefined pricing scheme 
that uses the bid center's internal logic to create prices. As you can see, Cabinet Vision ships with a few default rate tables. These may or may not work with your methods of creating bids. If it doesn't, you can simply click the Setup button to either change an existing rate table or create an entirely new one. If we close out of this dialog, I can select a rate table to do some pricing. I can select one or more rate tables to create the pricing that I want to get. For now, I just want to use the per foot plus upcharges table and then click OK. Now we have some pricing. We can expand the line items to take a look at the various information that is used to make up the pricing. There really isn't a lot of detail here though, so I'm going to enter the internal mode so that I can get that detail that I want to see. Now, internal mode is there for us, the designers, to see how the bid is being generated. This isn't typically something you would want to show your customers as it will show any markup values assigned as well as tax rates. It's all fine and dandy that we can view this on our screen, but what if I have to fax, email, or mail a copy of this to a contractor or a customer? Well, we have a reports button here as well, and clicking on that will bring us to our bid center reports. Once again, Cabinet Vision comes equipped with a couple of samples that will give you the information you need. But, of course, if you want to customize it, you can just change the report mode from View to Setup. You can then type anything you want to get the bid proposal the way you want it. You should have noticed that the typing area has less information, as well as a bunch of words that are surrounded by angled brackets. These are report variables. When the report is generated by Cabinet Vision, it will replace the variables with the data from the bid center. You can see that my highlighted variable has a matching component here in this list. If I double click on a variable in this list, it will place it at the cursor location in my report. This allows us to make very customizable reports that I can then print to a printer or export to Microsoft's Word application for further editing. I think I'm going to stop here as I'm pretty sure you understand the power of Cabinet Vision's reporting system. Also, I want to get started on the next video, which I will be covering Cabinet Vision's link with another Vero software product, the Screen to Machine Center.